Okay, we have here today another integral from the UNSW integration B 2023. This was from round two, problem 19. We have the integral of sine x over sine x minus cos x dx. Okay, I like doing these problems with just sines and cosines, and they kind of helped us out here by having just kind of one on the coefficients or negative one for all the coefficients. This problem gets a little more tricky if it's like two, three, four or something. But because everything's one, I'm gonna actually just kind of do this on the fly. And what I can do in the numerator here is, what if I subtract cosine x? Then that's pretty nice because now we're just integrating one. Now I don't wanna change it, so what I'm gonna do is add a cosine of x. And then we'll just take this and we'll break this off into a second integral. And now at this point, we haven't changed it, so we're fine. And of course, this first integral is easy, but notice that our second integral is really just as difficult as what we started with. So we didn't really get anywhere. We just kind of shifted the problem around. Well, what I want to do, focusing on this, what I'm trying to set up is a u substitution. And what I want to happen for this to come out nice and be pretty easy is if I make my u for the whole denominator here. So I'm going to call my u equal to sine x minus cos x. We'll take a derivative here. So du is going to become cos x plus, this is going to be minus sine x, but with a minus, it's going to be a plus sine x dx. So now for our du, we have cos x plus sine x. Well, what we have in the numerator is just cos x. So what we really want is we really want this sine x for this to work out nice. So I'm going to actually just create that again, kind of like what we did over here. I'm just going to kind of force this to happen. So now I'm in really good shape from the standpoint that I've got two really easy integrals, right? Because this is just one right here, okay? And this is gonna be just du over u. The only problem is now I have changed it. When you add these two together, adding the sines, we're gonna have two sine x. The cosine x's are gonna cancel and be zero. Now remember our numerator initially was just one sine x, not this two sine x that we have. But that's really easy to fix, but I can just multiply out front by one half on both these. And then now notice if we were to multiply everything through, again, the cosines cancel, but we have half sine x plus half sine x gives us the one sine x we had in the original. So now we haven't changed it and we have two really easy integrals. So let's go ahead and integrate and do the substitution over here. So for this one, because we're just integrating one, this is gonna give me half x here. And then on this one, we're gonna do our substitution, but again, the numerator is just du and the denominator is just u. And so now we'll just go ahead and we'll integrate this thing. We'll bring down our half x. But this is actually going to be just natural log of absolute value of u. And to finish it off, I can just back substitute right here. So for our final solution, we're going to have 1 half x plus 1 half natural log absolute value of this thing, which is sine x minus cosine x plus c. And that's it. Okay, so on this one, you notice I didn't really use that much of the board, I think because I did most of the work up top here. So I'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.